It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, a little bit something, something a little bit different today. Do you remember the new Andy Griffith Show? I did not... Uh, I've done one on it before, but I, but before I did that video, I had never even heard of it, and it's crazy. Uh, I went and watched the pilot episode, and well, let's just say Andy Griffith plays a guy named Ed, or Andy Sawyer, plays a mayor of a town, uh, Greenwood, I believe, and uh, he's known by uh, Barney Fife and Goober Powell and Emmett. They come to visit him. Tell me that's not strange. <laughs> Let's take a look. Following up a classic is not an easy task. Just ask the guys from After Mash. You know, Lucille Ball, being Lucille Ball, was able to pull off the pull it off as the Lucy Show managed to run as long as I love Lucy. Despite crafting one of the most beloved characters in the history of television, Andy Griffith struggled to find his feet after taking off his Mayberry Sheriff's uniform. After the Andy Griffith Show ended in 1968. Griffith set up his own production company, Andy Griffith Enterprises. He was in his early 40s, about the same age Lucy was, uh, had been when she came to fame on I Love Lucy. Uh, he had plenty of career left in him. Griffith's first television appearance comeback arrived in 70 with Headmaster. The show had a lot going for it beyond the superstar, like a Linda Ronstadt sung theme song and Hogan's Heroes recently vacated time slot. Despite his ad sets, Headmaster flopped. Uh, dubbed in the ratings by the Partridge family. Times were changing with the rural purge. That being said, perhaps the biggest flaw of Headmaster was Griffith strayed too far from Mayberry as the dramedy cast him as the head of an elite California private school. After a mere 14 episodes, the show was axed and Griffith had scrambled to get his mojo back. Just one week later in a time slot, he returned to the airwaves with the new Andy Griffith show. His second comeback sent Griffith back to North Carolina, a town called Greenwood. Played the mayor, Andy Sawyer. I was awful close to Andy Taylor, but not quite there. Uh, this Andy was married to the beautiful Lee Merriweather, the former cat woman. Opie was nowhere to be found, replaced by two kids named TJ and Lori. Yet, the new Andy Griffith show confusingly attempted to tie in the old Andy Griffith show. Characters from Mayberry popped up in Greenwood, including Don Knotts, Barney Fife, Goober, and Emmett made cameos, too. They all recognized this Andy Sawyer. Were we supposed to believe Andy Taylor was living in a rather poor witness protection program? This odd is he or isn't he, the sheriff. Uh, Andy perhaps led to the new Andy Griffith show, Sad Fate. It only lasted ten episodes, becoming a strange footnote to the legendary Andy Griffith show. Even Mayberry RFD managed three seasons. Griffith continued to seek new roles throughout the 70s, playing killers in, in, in TV movies, and going into outer space to haul scrap and salvage one. Of course, he eventually found his footing again in Dixie with Matlock. Perhaps audiences just needed some time before realizing how much they missed the Southern charm. I just thought, instead of doing something, I'm sorry, this is stupid, something stupid like this, it should have just tried to revive Andy, the Andy Griffith show. I mean, he already had the actors willing to be on the new one, so why not just revive the old one? And, uh, because you're pretty much doing the same thing anyway, only with a different cast, and just wasn't going to work. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. And you can find a pilot on YouTube, by the way, if you want to go look at it. Um, that's all I got for you. Please don't forget to check out Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Uh, descriptions in the link below. Uh, if you can't find it down there, holler at me in the comments and I'll I'll hook you up uh, with, the, with the link. And please don't forget about classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia as well. Have a great day. God bless you. And I'll be praying for you.